Hare Krishna. Those who fight their inner devils are the ultimate daredevils. People who fight against difficult uh, enemies, against very difficult odds, they are considered to be heroes, they are considered daredevils. So sometimes, suppose somebody fights a sole person against a big army, uh, then they are, what an what a amazing person this person is. Now yes, it's courageous, but the toughest enemy to fight is our inner enemy. Our inner devils are the forces that impel us towards wrongdoing, towards self-destruction, towards injuring others. These are the forces of lust, anger, greed, envy, pride, illusion. And the fighting these is what is truly challenging and truly laudable. The Bhagavad Gita is spoken on the battlefield. But at the same time, it focuses, identifies, it never points to the opponents such as Duryodhana and Drona and Karana and say, these are your enemies. Uh, that's not the thrust. The thrust of the Gita is fight against your inner enemies. Krishna says in the Bhagavad Gita 3.37, Kamesha Kro Desha Rajoguna Samudhavaha Mahashano Mahapapma Vidhyenam Ihavairinam That Vidhyenam Ihavairinam This, O oh Arjun, know that these are your, this is your enemy. What is it? It is self-destructive desire, which is called generically as Kama, which leads to Krodha. So, that, so these are our inner devils and you fight against them that is what makes us truly glorious. Sometimes we become reluctant to fight against our inner devils because we think this is just too tiresome. Well, is it worth it? Well, these desires keep coming again and again and I can't resist them. So better let me just go on doing whatever uh, I'm doing, indulging, succumbing, moving on with my life. If we may lose the will to fight, but for us to do anything challenging, we need to see it as inspiring. So if we understand that this is the ultimate challenge, this can make us true heroes because it can unite us with the supreme hero. If we can fight against our inner devils, then we can do some worthwhile, even wonderful contributions externally and we can attain the ultimate satisfaction internally because we can connect with the source of all love, Krishna, who will satisfy us and who will utilize us for doing great good to the world. And the forces of illusion, they are overwhelming everyone, they are deluding everyone, they are putting so many people into misery. If we can protect ourselves from them, if we can fight against them and set an example by which others can also fight against them, then that is glorious. That is what will enable us to go towards to do something glorious truly in our lives. Uh, by just getting an inspiring vision for facing our inner challenges, but then we can fight our inner devils and we can become the ultimate daredevils. Thank you. Hare Krishna.